then it's the end of the month, so you know what that means, it's April favourites time. I've been keeping a list all month of my favourite beauty products, but also films, TV shows, all different kinds of things, because I know you guys like it when I kind of mix it up a bit, and there's so many things I'm interested in, not just beauty. So I'm going to get started, and I think I will start with some beauty stuff. The first thing is a brush, and this is from Clinique. It's a new buffing brush that they bought out, and I really, really like this. When I received it, I didn't think kind of that much of it, I wasn't majorly excited about it, but then I tried it and thought actually this is brilliant, because it's somewhere between the Bobbi Brown buffing brush and the Real Techniques stippling brush. It's got a similar shape to the Bobbi Brown buffing brush brush, it's quite rounded, but it has these kind of duo fibre bristles, so it's quite densely packed at the bottom, but a bit softer at the top, and it's so, so good. It's great for foundation. I've also used it for cream bronzers and cream blushes, and it's worked so well with those. I absolutely love this brush, and I'm so glad I've got it in my collection now, because I really do use it quite a lot, and I think it's going to be great in the warmer months when I'm using more like creamy, liquidy products. I've also been using this product every day this month, and it's the Delilah Brow Line. Delilah's quite a new brand still. I think they sell it in Space NK, and it's actually a really nice brand. I've tried quite a few things from the line, and everything I've tried I've really liked, but this has really stood out and I've been using it every day. It's got a spoolie on one end and then a pencil on the other. It's very similar to the Anastasia Brow Wiz. So far the packaging is much better because the Anastasia Brow Wiz always breaks on me. This is shade Ash 1001, which is slightly browner and lighter compared to my brows, but I don't really like to match my pencil with my brows because then I end up making them far too dark. So when I apply this, it does look a little bit strange at first, but it does really mesh together well. And I don't really fill in my brows that much, so this is perfect and I've really been enjoying it. Okay, let's talk about films. I've got two films I want to recommend this month. I saw them both in the cinema and just came out thinking, oh my god, that was so, so good. The first one is Eddie the Eagle. The film's about Michael Edwards, who is the first ever British ski jumper. And it's a comedy, it's absolutely Absolutely hilarious. It's such a kind of light-hearted fun film. You leave just thinking like, oh that was so good. I laughed so much in it. It was really relaxing to watch. A very kind of like British comedy film. I loved every minute. I just highly recommend go and watch it while it's in the cinema. A proper feel-good film. The next one is The Jungle Book. They've redone The Jungle Book and I don't know if you guys know, I mentioned this in a Q&A video years ago, but The Jungle Book is my all-time favourite Disney film, it's my dad's as well, we watched it so much growing up. So I was a little bit sceptical at first when I heard they were kind of remaking it, but I saw the trailer and just thought that looks insane. It's a completely different type of Jungle Book. I think it's more based on the book and it's a very adult film. It's not one to take kids to, it's actually quite scary. But the the graphics is incredible. It's so well cast. It's got Bill Murray, Christopher Walken, Scarlett Johansson plays Carr. I think it's so great that they made Carr the snake a female character because there definitely weren't enough female animals in the original Jungle Book. It's so exciting. I actually loved it so much I would see it again, so I really recommend it. And they kept two songs in it, so it's not like a full on musical. There's just two songs. Okay, let's go back to beauty for a minute, and I've got a body lotion that I'd really recommend. This is from the brand Ameliorate, I think that's how you say it. It's the Skin Smoothing Body Lotion. So this has lactic acid in it, which is a really gentle AHA, and that means that it really exfoliates your skin whilst moisturising it. So I've never tried a body lotion that has AHA in it, but it really, really works. I use this on my arms. You know if you get like rough skin on the back of your arms, it's really good for that. I kind of use it everywhere, and I've just really been enjoying it, because I always skip the body moisturizing step because I'm just not sure if it's doing anything and this one I can really tell instantly like the next day my skin feels so smooth and now we're getting into spring summer I'm going my arms out more it's really nice to kind of look after my skin and this is a great body moisturizer I actually discovered this when watching one of Koshal Beauty's videos she said she uses it for the dry skin on the back of her arms so I gave it a go and she was right it's great I've got quite a bit of skincare in this video because I've kind of changed up my skincare a bit this month my skin was getting a bit dodgy towards the end of last month and my my skincare routine needed changing up a bit, so I've gone back to my Lizelle Cleanse and Polish. I love this cleanser, it's great when my skin just doesn't know what's going on and it just needs a break. Oils and balms are amazing, but sometimes they can be a little bit heavy on my skin and I just need a couple of weeks of like a creamy, basic cleanser and that's what the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish is and it's really helped clear my skin. It's just so gentle, I love using this. It takes off all your makeup, you can use a muslin cloth to take it off, and it's just so like natural and calming on the skin. I've also been using the Pixi Overnight Glow Serum, so this is an exfoliating gel. Again, it's got AHA in it, and it really takes off 
the dead skin from your face but it's gentle as well I use this in the evening you have to be careful to wear SPF when you're using this a lot but it doesn't like burn your skin or anything like that it just really exfoliates it gently and my skin feels really soft in the morning so this has really been helping as well I've mentioned this a lot in the past and it's not a new favorite but I really wanted to give it a mention because I've gone through so many this month it's the Clarins instant eye makeup remover and I have to thank Anna for introducing this to me <gasps> and I have to thank Anna for introducing me to this years ago it's so so good I finished one of these bottles this month got another one I've nearly finished my travel size and then Clarins oh my god I love them for doing this they've sent me like a salon size one this is so exciting I love this product so much it's like when I bought loads of Oscar Renaissance cleansing gels when I love a product, I just want to have a million backups because I never want to run out. I need to get more of the travel size ones because they're really good, but this is amazing. So I keep this in my bathroom. I use it every night to remove my eye makeup before cleansing and it's the best one. I've tried the Charlotte Tilbury one. I've tried, which other ones have I tried? I can't remember. I've tried all the ones that have this like bio phase and nothing is as good as the Clarins one. You shake it up, mix it all together and it takes off your makeup in one swipe. Okay, let's go back to non-beauty and a TV series that I would really recommend is Love. Me and Rich finished it in two days. There's only one season. There should be another one coming soon. And as you can tell by the title, it's about a guy and a girl battling with kind of love and emotions but it's so quirky the characters are so interesting it's created by the guy who plays the main character who's Paul Ross and Judd Apatow and I didn't realize when I started watching it but I googled it and then I was like of course it's so good Judd Apatow also created some of my favorite films like Knocked Up, 40 Year Old Virgin, This Is 40 so it's so funny if you've seen any of those films you'll know they're brilliantly funny so enjoyable to watch and yeah me and Rich finished it in like two days it was so good so I'd really recommend it that's on Netflix okay back to beauty I have been loving this Shuamura straightforward time-saving blow-dry oil I don't use much of the Shuamura hair stuff it's quite pricey but this is a really good blow-dry oil so you just it says part your hair and spray it in sections I haven't really got time for that I tend to just spray it on like damp hair and with hair products sometimes I can't really tell if they actually make a difference or not but this makes an instant difference to the texture of my hair. My hair is so soft after I wash it now. So if you do have quite textured rough hair like I do, this is definitely good for softening it up a bit and treating it before you blow dry it. So I really like this. Another oil, but this time a nail oil. This is from Essie. And I recently did a shoot with Essie and Rankin and the lovely lady who did my nails actually gave me one of these. It's an amazing bright green color, but it doesn't come out green. It's just a nail oil. And I told her that my nails are always flaking and chipping. And she said it's just because my nails are so dry so I should just keep this on my desk every now and again just paint it on my nails so I've been doing that for like the past few weeks and it's really made a difference to the quality of my nails and because it's such a nice bright green color if it's sitting on my desk I always remember to do it yeah it smells really fruity as well so I really like this and I'm gonna try and continue to use this every day okay the final product is my Kylie Jenner lip kit in Candy K it's what I'm wearing today I really like this I'm so glad I got them this is definitely my favorite shade it's like the lightest one out of all the ones I picked up the line is great soft and smooth and the liquid lipstick is really long lasting I just love that you can put it on in the morning and not have to worry about reapplying. I hate reapplying lipstick so I know this one's just gonna last all day. It's gonna last through any meal that I eat. If you want to see my full Kylie Jenner lip kit review video, press the i button. You can go and watch that afterwards. I kind of talk more in detail about what I think of them. Okay so those are all my favorites and as you can see from the title, Everyday May is happening. For those of you that don't know what Everyday May is, last May I vlogged every day in May. But before you guys get too excited, it is gonna be different this year. As you know I'm getting married so I've got so much on my plate at the moment trying to plan a wedding, trying to do work, trying to juggle life. My sister's having a baby in May so everything's a bit crazy so I don't want to commit to a vlog every day let's think of it more as like mayhem May hopefully there's just gonna be a load of new videos I don't know if they're gonna be up every day at 6 30 I don't know if it's gonna be a vlog every day some days there might not be a video I'm not gonna be that strict on myself this year because I just don't want to resent doing it but I'm gonna try my best to put up loads of videos in May vlogs of other videos just whatever I really fancy and just see what happens I'm gonna be a bit more flexible about it this year so I hope you don't mind that but every day May is kind of on let's call it kind of every day May but maybe not every day. Does that work? Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe because then if I am uploading videos every day and I'm not sure what time, if you subscribe, if you turn on notifications, then hopefully you won't miss the videos. But follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, because I'll be promoting the videos on there as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Who knows when that will be? Bye.